everyone this is dr neha and today we're going to discuss one numerical which will help you understand and make your concepts clear about psm numericals so before that we begin on an academy app we have introduced a raise a hand feature which is like you if you attend my plus classes you'll be able to talk to me directly and ask your questions directly also we have started some of the batches on an academy on 4th of august a neat pg tnd batch and an ultra fast track high yield topic revision batch so if you want you can subscribe use my code psm10 or psm live and learn from all your wonderful educators so the question today is incidence of carcinoma cervix in women with multiple sexual partners is five times the incidence seen in those with a single partner based on this what is attributable risk now guys in which type of study design do we calculate attributable risk in a cohort study this is actually a previous year question which we are discussing today so cohort study mein hum log teen cheeze calculate karte hain relative risk attributable risk and population attributable risk so suppose i want to um, uh, i will just quickly recapitulate with you the formula for all of this so suppose here we were studying uh, some risk factor and any disease let's say lung cancer and smoking all right so disease yes no the risk factor smoking positive negative present not present so outcome is always towards the column side and the exposure is always towards the row side so now i'll just revise with you relative risk kya tha incidence among exposed divided by incidence among non exposed you don't have to memorize this table i'll just tell you how you can revise it and uh, make it simple for you attributable risk hota hai incidence among exposed minus among non exposed divided by incidence among exposed multiplied by 100 and what is population attributable risk incidence among total population minus incidence among non exposed divided by incidence among total population multiplied by 100 so now over here guys what is incidence exposed kitne log exposed hain those who are smoking is a plus b right so the total here will be a plus b here it will be c plus d so how many are exposed a plus b usme se kitno ko disease ho gaya a similarly non exposed is how many how many are not exposed to smoking c plus d usme se kitno ko lung cancer ho gaya let's say c okay so you can accordingly put this incidence exposed and non exposed in the formula of relative risk and attributable risk but what is incidence total population so total population is a plus b plus c plus d or usme se kitno ko incidence hua disease ka a plus c okay so this was just a revision of all the three formulas but if you look at this question okay the incidence of carcinoma cervix in women with multiple sexual partners is five times the incidence in those with single partner so do you need to draw the table here you don't need to draw the table here so here you can just say that attributable risk ka ye formula hai so those who have let's say that those who have a single partner okay the incidence of carcinoma is x so those who have multiple sexual partners the incidence will become 5x that's it so yahan pe when we talk about incidence exposed means incidence it means cancer among those having multiple sexual partners theek hai to isko aap simple aise calculate kar sakte ho i just told you exposure is multiple sexual partners and non exposure is single sexual partner so if incidence of carcinoma cervix among non exposed which is single sexual partners is x then incidence of carcinoma cervix among exposed which is here multiple sexual partners is 5x so attributable risk becomes incidence exposed minus incidence non exposed divided by incidence exposed so 5x minus x divided by 5x into 100 is 80%. So 80% of carcinoma cervix can be attributed to the exposure which over here is multiple sexual partners. So you did you did the revision of all the three formulas and also you've done a calculation. I hope you like this session. Thank you so much.